Hello and welcome to my video on adult attachment and the adult attachment interview. In 1984, Nancy Kaplan, Mary Main and Carol Jord worked towards uh, finding a questionnaire that would in some way give professionals an opportunity of recognising what attachment style adults had so they could consider how this impacted on their children. It was in 1985 that Nancy Kaplan and Mary Main wrote this up and since then it has been used by professionals particularly in social services and in the mental health arena to consider adult attachment styles. This is a verbal interview between a professional who has been trained in the adult attachment interview technique and it will look at the attitude that the participant has towards their relationships both romantic and their relationships they've had with their parents and see if they can make a coherent recognition of how their past relationships have impacted on others and if they have resolved their own issues. In the adult diagnosis, the names have been changed from the childhood diagnosis. So here in category A, we now have dismissive rather than anxious avoidant. And during the interview, people who have this style of relating and attaching will often have memory lapses. They will minimise negative aspects and deny that anything that has been not okay in their life has had any personal impact upon them. They will also contradict themselves regarding their positive statements and the interviewer may note that they seem very defensive. Because someone with this style of attachment ignores ha their own emotional feelings, they do not empathise easily with others or in their children. They have what we call a dampened effect regulation. So the children do not learn what emotions are and they in turn may have an avoidant attachment style. Category B is the secure autonomous and people with this style of adult attachment will value relationships and describe them in a balanced way. They have what is known as a coherent narrative. They have a timeline and understand the impact that experience have had upon them. Their way of being interviewed is non-defensive and they're able to react appropriately with their children and to their own emotional states and are able to attune to others. It is worth noting that some children who have started off in life with anything but a secure attachment, that is, they may show types of avoidant attachment, ambivalent attachment, or indeed disorganised attachment, may, through new experiences, be able to 
accept their past, work through their losses and possible traumas and begin to attach in a secure, autonomous way. The third category, category C, is preoccupied, enmeshed for an adult. In childhood, this would have been known as an ambivalent attachment. And people who have a preoccupied, enmeshed attachment will have a preoccupation with their parents. And the interviewer may note that they are either angry or ambivalent to the past. Internally, they have a hyper reaction to their own emotions. However, these will be both exaggerated and focused on their self. They are often unable to meet the child's needs. So therefore, their parenting can be inconsistent and there will be negligible soothing. They have a heightened effect regulation. As I said, often angry. And their child will be asked to come closer and yet they will be unable to meet the child's needs. And in turn, their children may display an insecure, ambivalent attachment. And finally, we have the final category, which is disorganized, also known as unresolved. And the unresolved is in relation to their unresolved issues regarding previous losses or abuse. And they will display both fear and frightening behaviour as they are unable to regulate themselves and do not understand their own emotions. As a parent, this means that their child will copy them and as there is no consistency and there is no trust in either other people other systems or networks, then the child in turn may have a disorganized attachment. Thank you for listening.